press her. What else? <laughs> Oklahoma. Yeah, my girlfriend left me. And, uh... Hard to believe with my winning personality. I know. Uh, Gee, Bill, what'd you do? Call her a cunt? No, no. Not at first. Not on the first date. You know, we got, I had to get to know her. <laughs> then it all became clear. But, uh... Hey, he's requesting this shit. Don't kill me. I'm the messenger. But, yeah, she left me. And I was really bummed about it for a long time. I was really depressed. But it occurred to me finally that... It, you can't let this kind of shit eat you up. You gotta move on, you can't get bitter. And it occurred to me, it really helped my career that she left me, because you know what, I'm driven now. I'm driven by a fantasy that one day this girl who I love, she loved, she loved me, then left. One day this girl's gonna be living in a trailer park with nine naked little kids with rickets that bring home dead animals from the side of the road for them to eat at night. Furs in their hair, mud on their face, rats laying babies in their nostrils and ears at night. Gonna live with this ex-welder, 600 pounds, fur all over his back, drinks warm beer, farts, belches, beats the kids, watches the Dukes of Hazards every fucking night, has to have it explained to him. One night he's gonna be making love to her and his heart's gonna explode and she's gonna be trapped under 600 pounds of flaccid fish belly cellulite, shifting like the tides of the ocean as blood, phlegm, bile, and a chaw of tobacco pours out of his mouth and nose into her face. And just before she drowns in that tepid puddle of afterbirth, she turns to the Tonight Show and I'm gonna be on it. So you see, I'm not bitter. Okay, what else? Oh, I'll tell you something weird. This is kind of strange. But I don't know if y'all can relate to this or not. I don't really care. Uh, I am meeting more and more women who don't know anything about their own bodies. You guys know what I'm talking about, all guys? Every guy here has at one time asked his girlfriend, Honey, do you ever, like, look at your pussy? <laughs> no. Don't? You've never looked at your pussy? God, no. That's, that's confusing to guys, I think. Cause, I mean, I can't believe you've never, you've never gotten a mirror and squatted down and said, gee, I wonder what all the fuss is about. This seems to cause a fuss now and again. Maybe I should familiarize myself with it, it being the little fuss causer that it is. You've never fucking done that. God, no. I got news for you, honey. I look at my asshole and pretend it is your pussy. Would you meet me halfway here? I'm starting to feel foolish. I'm going to need to have you carry some of the imagination burden with you. Because I guarantee you every guy in this room knows exactly what his dick looks like from every conceivable angle. Guys, it is. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, cool. Oh, I never Oh, wow, look at that. I never saw it like that. Oh, that's it. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's that. All right. I could pick my dick out of a lineup of every other dick in the world in about three seconds. That's how familiar I am with my dick. Be like, find Waldo. And there's my dick, right there. There it is. Bing! A new world record. How did you do that, Bill? I'm just that familiar with my cock. I will never be baffled by an occurrence in my underpants, all right? I, that's so weird. Honey, don't you want to look at your pussy? Ooh, new gross. Gross? My face is down there. Hey! Something, something wrong with it? Bring it over here. I'll fix it. It'll be Bob Vila, this old pussy. What's wrong with it? Maybe it looks all right to me. I get a little clone hair. It looks good. No. Baby, your pussy's your friend. Repeat after me. My pussy's my friend. My pussy's my friend. Maybe it's just like a self-cleaning oven. You just got to turn it on every once in a while. Come on, let's get that mirror now. I don't want to. Come on, look at it. Look where my face goes every fucking night. Look at where Daddy likes. Am I letting y'all in on more than you care to know about me? Yeah. 
Oh, I decided to gross you all out tonight because I, uh, quite frankly, am having a heart, heart murmur. Oh, man. Hard night, huh? Oh, Jesus Christ, it's over. Yeah, where? Just anywhere. Just throw me a fucking lifeboat. Boom. So, love, sex, sex, more sex, fuck it, let's go all the way with sex tonight, fuck it. Yeah. So I, was, I was dating this young girl, I love women of all ages, you know, but I, got, I really understood finally the appeal of young women when I was with this girl, it was unbelievable, man. I mean, down between her legs, there's just n nothing, it's like a, a wisp of cotton candy framing a paper cut, man. Oh, it's unbelievable. And you turn her over and open her cheeks, it's like a little pink quivering rabbit nostril. Oh, how cute. I bet your ass tastes better than most girls' pussies. Come here. And it did. It really did. Something sweet about that little ass. You ever heard that saying, your shit don't stink? It's true with this girl, man. It's absolutely true. Thank you. How many of y'all think I could be Satan at this point? In here? I'm not Satan, don't worry. It's two sixes and a nine. I'm bluffing. All right, great. <laughs> Are there actually women in the world who do not like to give blowjobs? Why do I ask that question? I was with this woman one time. She goes down here for like three seconds, starts coming back up. And I'm going, oh, oh. <laughs> Unless you're getting up to put ice in your mouth. <laughs> anyway, without getting graphic. She actually said to me, I think you've had enough. <laughs> really? You know what? I think you're going to know when I've had enough. <laughs> Pretty definite ending to this. Anyway, it blew my mind. It's all it blew. And uh, I mean, quite... Because I'm curious about relationships, why, and you hear this complaint a lot, if you're with someone you love, why don't you do everything? Why would you have limits in the way you express yourself sexually with someone you love? That blows my fucking mind. Why don't you ladies like sucking your guys' cocks and making it, I don't know, the focal point of your existence <laughs> while on this planet? Uh, seriously. Actually, I had a woman one night go, yeah, you ever try it? I said, yeah. <laughs> Almost broke my back. <laughs> Lonely night in Georgia. Yeah, the guys are going, honey, I have no idea what he's talking about. I'm baffled, honey. He's speaking French. He's a devil boy. Guys, you're such liars. If you could blow yourselves, ladies, you'd be in this room alone right now. <laughs> watching an empty stage. <laughs> yeah, true. I'd suck my own dick in a minute. <laughs> Which is how long it would take. <laughs> Does that make me gay? <laughs> Just happy. <laughs> Not me either. Porno. Let's talk about porno. I'm going to drive you out of here tonight. I don't give a fuck. I swear to God. That's enough of this. Fuck it. Enough of this. I'm going to go through the window. Fuck it. Ah, Bill fell into cartoon land. Help me. I'm on Ted Turner's channel all the time. I'm a cartoon. Help me. Saturday at 8 in the morning. Filthy boy. Watch the new Ted Turner superhero cartoon, Filthy Boy. <laughs> Jesus, this isn't very comfortable. I don't know why I picked this position. Need help? Oh. <laughs> 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 it's become this fucking join-in party, man. I missed the whole entertainment meeting that decided that. <laughs> oh, it was Arsenio that started all that shit. That's what it was. Arsenio. 
What did fucking Merv Griffin and Little Richard have a kid? What's the fucking deal here? Man? Everyone goes on Arsenio. People who never do talk shows do Arsenio. Robert De Niro never does talk shows. He's on Arsenio. Arsenio, you're the greatest. I had to come on and tell you that. What? You owe this guy fucking money or something? <laughs> Jesus, when he comes back, is going to do Arsenio. <laughs> Tonight, Paula Abdul, Della Reese, Jesus of Nazareth. Let's get busy. <laughs> sound effects are the first to go. <laughs> Jesus, Mary Magdalene, tell us the truth. Did you do it? <laughs> oh, please. God in heaven, man. I'm going to leave. I'm going to go eat Polish. You guys have more fun without me. You will. It's really... You will. Ah, fuck you. I'm staying because of that, you fucking dick. <laughs> You will be the first to go, Mr. Shirt and Tie Man. Mr. Work for the Man. Mr. See Traffic every day the rest of your fucking pathetic life. I will take off my mask and display my true self to you, you cum-sucking piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Want me to take the mask off and display my life to you fucking worms? Or do you want me to pretend I'm the comic monkey boy and you're the upstanding citizens? <laughs> Yes, comic monkey boy. Be our little plaything while we go about our pathetic fucking lives. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck Freebird! I will stay till you are gone. Drive out of here one at a time. I don't care. I've got hours of dick jokes. I've got hours of dick jokes. I've got hours of dick jokes for you. I've got hours of cunt jokes. I've got hours of cunt jokes. I discuss them in detail. Yes, I do. Pussy fucking pussy fart. Love them all. Talk about them. Love those pussy sweet. Love them tart. Yes, I do. I've got hours of dick jokes. I've got hours of cunt jokes. I will discuss them in great detail just for you. It's Ted Turner's new cartoon hero, Filthy Boy. God. And do me a favor, if y'all leave, don't go and procreate. Did you hear what my buddy said? Use a condom! A big thick one! Put on a beekeeper outfit! that fucking robot on Lost in Space. Come fuck me now, honey. Oh, this is a nightmare. This is comedy hell, folks. I really apologize for this whole show. Generally, there's material. I swear to God, there is. And there's a point of view and everything. Tonight... Sorry, didn't work out. <laughs> the airline lost my sense of humor. Sorry. Where's the exit? Exit's right over there. They told me I had to leave. I couldn't talk. What? What? I told you, it's and all that. Oh, you, oh, this guy can stay. He's a good guy. Kick your feet out. Mark, don't kick him out. <laughs> if you leave, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm not leaving. I'm getting paid for this. Get out of here. <laughs> what are you, nuts? They got Brent. I can't stand here and make a true decision. I'm a monkey boy. They hired me, they put quarters in my ass like in here with my symbol. I'm in Comedy Hill and you have put me there. What can we talk about?